breath in my lungs, I'm gone Scream my mama cause I miss you so But eventually I'll get over you Hit up the As I gracefully slide into Scorpio season. What's up y'all, it's the girl Sequoia and I'm back today with another video for you guys. Today's video is based off of this look, this very sultry, purple vibe we got going on. I wanted to do a look um, kind of inspired by Scorpio, Scorpio season. When I think of Scorpio season, I think we're like the most hated Zodiac. I always hear negative things about Scorpios. So I think of like very mysterious, dark, if you will. So that's kind of what inspired this look. Um, purple is the color of royalty. So I definitely want to incorporate some purple into this look. It is also my favorite color. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know you want to hit that subscribe button. So let's get into it. Okay, so first we're going to start off with my Morphe 35 Pink Palette. And I've already primed my lids with my NARS concealer. So first, what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to, let me show you the palette. Very pretty, pink for plums. What I'm going to do, being that Scorpio season gives me them sultry vibes, I'm going to go in with, hmm. I wanna try a dark purple. I think I'm gonna go in with this purple here. Just dab it into that, and I'm going to pop that in here. Open it up. Once we got that color packed up how we want it, we're just gonna go up and blend out the edges using that same color but a fluffier brush and just blend out the edges. All right, now I want to deepen up the outer parts of my eyelid. We're gonna do a halo cut crease. I'm gonna try this chocolate brown and this dark color here I want to keep the same dark purple vibes going and dab that into the corners here Now I'm going to cut the crease. I'm just going to use NARS concealer. I'm going to put a bit of that on the back of my hand. And because I'm not doing a full cut crease, just a little kind of like halo-ish shape, I'm going to just use a smaller brush so I can perfectly cut that. So just go in like this, put it here. Is where I'm gonna cut my crease. See that transfer? I'm gonna cut from the right You want to make sure that the cup, the uh, crease that you did, it aligns up with the darker shades you place because we're going to incorporate blending into the outer parts of this um, cut crease we did. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye really quickly, just like this one. Okay, so now to go in the center of the cut crease, I want to go in with this really pretty purple shade right here. 
this one right here from the top. Look, get into the vibe. Keep the nails, keep the nails. I don't know if I need to wet my brush for this to pick up the pigment, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and see. And that same purple shade we put to darken up here and we're gonna blend that in i do just want to say here quickly that i know it looks crazy i like to pack on all my colors and then blend everything out evenly after so just trust the process i feel like i want to add a little razzle dazzle i'm gonna go in with a liner brush and i'm gonna use this really light light color here and i'm gonna go right along the crease and I'm just going to place that color right here. Right on the top of where that crease and that transition color is. So next I'm going to do a wing liner. I'm gonna try this on camera and see if I can get it to work. I'm using a Hank and Henry that I got from uh, my boxy charm. I'm going to go clean up around the eye and come back to um, do the rest of my makeup and finish off the look. So right now I'm just highlighting my face. I like to set my eye immediately after I put the concealer just because I have bags and I don't want my concealer to set in those creases so it's easier for me to set it right after. And push it in. And then I'll go in with just a little bit to bake. Take this fluffy brush and kind of get and again, I don't even really need to be doing this because my hair is going to be hiding my face. But I'm gonna do it just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is do the bottom part of my look. And I'm going to add the same purple that we used here. I'm going to add it on the bottom. And then I'm going to take a, a dark brown shade, the dark brown shade that we mixed here. I'm gonna apply it to the outer corner. I'm going to add some black liner to the bottom. For lashes, I am going to be using these lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection. This is in the style Teddy, and this is from the brand Kiss. I actually really like this brand because my eyelids are too sensitive to wear like those really big minks. So I like these because they're still very mink-ish looking, and they don't hurt my eyelids or give me give my eyelids a workout. So I'm just gonna pop these on, and I'll be back. 
Okay, so for inner tear duct to finish up this light, I'm just gonna go on with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I like that this is really shiny and pigmented, and I'm just gonna pop that right here in the corner of my eye. And I'm actually gonna pop some of that on my brow bone up here. We're gonna do some mascara on the bottom lashes. So I did forget to put some of the skin finish on my cheeks. This is what I've lately been feeling for um, highlight. I've been into that more natural glow, so I'm just gonna pop that. area and again I don't like to bring any highlight or anything with reflection into here because it's perfect pores that automatically enlarges them and being that I have a round face I don't want to draw attention to the center of my face because that's just going to make it how you know seem noticeable how you know, my face is so I really put just on the outside. I've already set with some elf setting spray um, but I'm going to use this iconic lemon spray that I got from my boxy charm for the month of October. I actually really, really like this stuff. And I'm just gonna spray this. It gives me a dewy kind of skin-like kind of the So now I'm just going to put my mold back in its place. And I'm gonna add one here. That's a little too late, but we're gonna put it. Now, what should I do for lips? So, as of right now, I've just lined my lips with my body Ography Timber Lip Liner, and so in the shade Timber. And I'm going to use my Dose of Colors. Uh, matte liquid lipstick in the I actually just made another one on this finish. I love this stuff. And this is in a shade Knock on Wood. And I'm just going to pop that on. So I think this is where I'm at. I'm going to go get dressed and fix my hair so you guys can stop cracking on me little key so I know I look weird. But I'm going to finish up, get ready, and I will be right back. And that completes our look. It is Scorpio season. Wait it. Until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.